All right, everybody up for joining me this morning on what looks like my last at-home workout. We're getting back in the studio next week. It's so exciting. We're going to start out with our chest openers. I know I promised you a new warm-up, but since we're looking at the end right here, I'm going to stick with this one this morning. This is great for warming up the upper body. It's an upper body workout today. Of course, I've thrown in a little bit of core and while the rest of your body is going to work a little bit, but the focus is upper. Let's do some arm circles forward, all the way around, warm up the shoulders, reach, wake up. It's my husband passing by, he's going to join us. Everybody, let's reverse the opposite direction. We're going back. Nice big arm circles. Shrug those shoulders all the way around. All right, we're going to go into reaching jacks. Jump the feet apart and together. Arms are reaching straight up. On your breathing, think about what you want to accomplish today. Yes, I am going to challenge your arms. Just get in that work mentality. Get ready to work. Three, two, one. All right, Frankenstein walk here. Opposite hand to toe. Make sure you're really twisting at the core. A little bit of core work today. And reach. I did, thanks. A couple more. All right. Give me a nice wide stance. We're going to do that with a lunge. Reach. Keep the opposite leg nice and straight. Sorry for the interference if you hear Mo. He must have heard somebody outside. And reach and twist. Give me two more, one to each side. All right, I'm gonna to try to go through the demo as quick as I can so we have good time for the workout. Nine exercises today, 45 seconds of work, 15 second rest. We're gonna do two sets of each exercise. So we'll stay with the exercise for two seconds before we move on. All right, you guys give me that boxer's jog in place. Woo. All right, if you have a band, you're gonna use a band for the first exercise. It's a forward and back knees crawl. The band's going on your wrist. You're gonna come onto the floor, knees below the hips, hands below your shoulders. Lift your knees off the ground. You're gonna step two forward and crawl two back. My knees are just hovering above the ground as I do this. Two forward and two back. Next, we're gonna move into a lunge with bicep curl. If you have a weight, that's great. You're gonna lunge forward with the right foot. Let's <laughs> I'm gonna come up and down just like this. Lunging for the second set, we will switch sides. If you don't have a dumbbell and you have a band, you can use a band for this exercise, just like this. Next, we're doing a tricep kickback. We're gonna do that in a um, staggered stance, taking a step forward. Throw those weights into your armpits and you're gonna kick them back. If you need a little bit less, you could alternate the kickbacks. If you have a band instead, lean forward, you're going to use the band for your kickback. Next, we're going into a plank with half wiper. If you have sliders, you're going to use them here. Come down into forearm plank. One leg goes out at a time, side to side. If you don't have the sliders, you're going to just tap your foot out from side to side. Next, we've got a front raise, lateral raise. Light weights here, straight up in front, just a shoulder height, and out to the sides, alternating back and forth. We're coming down for a reverse plank. Get a push up right here. Alternate the lifting leg, really keeping the core tight here. My fingertips are pointed towards my butt. Next, we've got side to side push up. Again, you're gonna use the sliders if you have them. I love this move, side to side. If you don't have the sliders, you're just gonna walk one arm out side to side. You can stay down here on your knees or you can bring it up to the toes for a little bit more. Then we'll go into boat pose. You guys probably know boat pose right now. <sighs> Fucking bitch. Your heels are up. <laughs> you're gonna hold it here. 
but instead we're going to do draw bridge arms. So once you find yourself here, arms are going to come up and down. You need light weights here, up and down. Hey, hey Amber, can you make sure when you're done that you mute everybody, please? Yes. Sorry about that. All right, so for our next, we're gonna do plank to upright row. If you have the sliders, this is their last move. You're gonna use them, otherwise you're just gonna step the legs out. You need weights too. You're gonna to come down into plank, hit that perfect plank, slide the legs in, come up to your row. If you don't have the sliders, you're just gonna step the feet out or jump them out for a little extra. Sorry about that for getting to mute. Hopefully you guys got the instructions. I'll go back through it as we are working. Let's get started. All right, we're going in five seconds. Get your band ready if you have it. We're going to that beast crawl first. Three, two, one. Here we go. Two steps forward, hovering those knees above the ground, two back. Remember, we're in it for 45 seconds. So pace yourself here. Let me give you a different view. My right arm and my right knee come forward, then left, back, back. Knees are hovering above the ground. I'm not really crawling. I'm in that beast hold and I'm moving. And the band's giving me a little extra, a little extra work for the arms. Keep on moving back and forth. If you don't have the band, you're just doing this without the band, no big deal, you're still working. Last five seconds. Come on, stay with it. Three, two, and rest. All right, 15 second rest here. We're doing another set of the forward back beast crawl. All right, come on guys. Let's find the energy. Three, two, and here we go. Knees are hovering above the ground. Let's get right back into it. Two steps forward, two back. Waking up the body right now. We're gonna do a lot of work, come on. Stay in, I'm gonna peek in on you guys. Come on, you got it. Come on, Anna, Krista, and Tracy, who else is here today? Tammy, Coach Christine, Celia. Don't stop. Come on, Mary Lynn. You're almost there. A couple more, friend back. We got 10 seconds. Come on, we got this. Almost done with this move for today. Three, two, and one. All right, we're coming up to standing. If you got weights, great. Step the right foot forward, left foot back. My left heel is, above, is not on the ground, it's up. We need one weight. It goes in the left hand. And every time we lunge down, we're curling that bicep. I've got my right hand just resting on my right thigh for an extra support and balance. I'm keeping my elbow close to my body as I do this curl. Keeping my front knee behind my toe. You don't want it to go out in front and put your knee in any danger. We want good form. We're just trying to get two 90 degree angles with our knees here. For the next set, we'll switch sides. For now, stay with it. Give yourself a good pace. Doesn't have to be too slow. We're lifting pretty light weights. Three, two, one, and rest. Good set, we're switching sides. Left leg's forward, right leg is back and up. My left hand is on my left thigh. Ready, set, here we go. Doing that bicep curl with my right arm now. Getting down every time. Keep that elbow pinned into your side. Make sure you're staying in control of that weight. And breathing through your exercise. So far, so good. Come on. Get down low. Get down deep into that lunge. Work that arm. Really squeeze. Think about that bicep muscle. Squeezing. And as you're lowering it, control. Last 10 seconds. Give me a couple more right here. We've got five, three, two, and rest and breathe. All right, tricep kickback. So you need light weights or a band. If you're using a band, your kickback is gonna look like this. If you've got weights, we're gonna do a stagger stance. Step the right foot forward, 
Left foot back. Lean forward. Row those weights into your armpits. And kick back right here. Slow it down. Again, I'm pinning those elbows to my sides, keeping the elbows high. If you need a little less, alternate right and left. But stay in it. Try to keep a flat back. I know I'm turning a little bit because I'm looking to make sure everybody's in line. Kicking back. Come on. Right here. It's a small muscle. I know it hurts. We're going to power through this last five seconds. Come on. Three, two, and one. Rest. Shake the arms out. We're going to the other side. Left leg is in front this time. Right leg back. Shake out the arms. We got tricep kickbacks for another set. Row them in. Here we go. Kick them back. Nice and slow. Elbows high. Like I said, if you need a little less, you're going to go one at a time. Kick it back. Nice and slow. You're going to start to feel that burning in the back of your arms. That's okay. Last set with the tricep kickbacks. Power through with me. Keep that flat back. Legs are doing a little bit of work holding you in the split stance. Your butt's doing a little bit of work too. Come on, last 10 seconds. Keep kicking it back. Lean forward. Yes. Press and keep those elbows high. You got five, three, two, and rest. All right, done with those tricep kickbacks. If you've got sliders, grab them. Otherwise, you're going to tap your foot from side to side. We're coming down. Forearm plank. We're going in three, two, one. Slowly here, too. I don't want it fast. Really press into the slider if you've got it. Slide it back in. All the way out to the side. All the way back in. Breathe. Core is solid right here. Straight line from your neck all the way down to your feet. Whew. I've got to imagine everybody's down there working because everybody disappeared from their frame. Keep on working from side to side. We'll have a break in just a second. We've got 15. Come on. Tapping from side to side. We're almost there. Last five seconds. Give me another one from side to side. Tap and tap. Rest. Rest. Come up from for a split second. Shake out your arms if you need to. Stretch out that core. We've got one more set of the wipers. Feet on the sliders if you've got them. Ready, set. Here's our second set. Keep pushing side to side. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Nice and long. Get that leg as far over to the side as you can. Before you tap it back in. Yes. Core is working, your arms are working, shoulders, back, everything's working. Don't stop. Come on, Wendy, I see you. She popped in, I didn't see her before. Almost there. Last 10 seconds. Don't, don't give up. If you need to come down for a split second, pop down, then come right back up into it. Our cores are getting strong. Three, two, and rest. Woo. All right, done with those. Grab those light weights, soup cans, whatever you got. We're coming up to standing. We've got that front raise, lateral raise. Here we go. Raising up to shoulder level, and then up to shoulder level on the side. I'm keeping a soft bend in my knees. Don't, don't walk them out. Nice and slow and controlled. Out to the front, out to the side. Just the shoulder level. You can keep just the slightest little bend in your elbow. Don't lock those out either. If you need less, you could go one arm at a time. Give yourself a little bit of break. Otherwise, stay with me. Last 10 seconds. Focusing on that form. All the way up nice and slow. Lower it down. Three, two, one, and rest. You can shake your arms out right here. We're more than halfway through. I did save a burnout for today, so make sure you have a little bit of energy left. We're going back in three, 
two, in action. Front raise, lateral raise. Breathe, keep those shoulders down out of your ears. Relax the shoulders. I know they're working, but they shouldn't be up in your ears. Front and side. Nice pace, not too fast, not too slow. Halfway through this set, my arms are starting to burn just a little bit. I'm feeling it. We've got 10 seconds. Let's make it a good 10 seconds. We're gonna switch to the next exercise. We're coming down to the floor after this. Three, two, and rest. Drop those weights. Nice work with the front raise, lateral raise. We're doing that reverse plank, alternate leg lift. You're gonna lift up, butt's off the floor. My heels are down. My fingertips are pointing towards my butt. Here we go. You guys are joining me. We're lifting up one leg at a time. Really control it here. You don't want your body to sway from side to side. You really wanna keep it nice and straight. Working the arms here. I was gonna do crab dips. You're lucky they're not crab dips. Reverse plank here. We're holding the body straight like a, straight like a board. The leg lifts are just giving you something to do to take your mind off of the weight that your arms are holding and that contraction you're holding in your abs. Breathe through it. We're almost there. Arms are starting to shake. I know that means you're doing it right. Three, two, woo. Shake out those arms. We've got one more set of the reverse plank. You guys are doing amazing. Stay with me. We're going back in three, two, one. Lift it up. Come on. If you can't tell, I've had my espresso this morning. I've got energy. I'm going to focus in on my best form every move. Lift those legs up. Keep those arms straight. If you need to come down for a split second and rest, that's fine. But then push back up and finish strong. Come on, lift those legs. If that's too much, take the leg lift out. Just hold that reverse plank. You're almost there. Come on, last 10 seconds. Don't stop. Come on, you got it, Coach Christine. Come on, Tammy, Celia, Mary Lynn, Anna, Wendy. Come on, Krista. We got a good crew, Tracy and Ann. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, really shake the arms out. We're going side to side push up. <laughs> yep, you can take them from your toes or your knees. If you've got sliders, that's a great fun tool to use. Let's go, come on. Push up, side to side. We're already nearing towards the end, so stay with it. If your arms are getting tired, if you need a little bit less, take it down to your knees here. You're still working hard. Get down. Whatever your range of motion is, get down as low as you can. Everybody's is a little bit different. Breathe and push that floor away from you. I know it's a long time to be in a push-up. Last 10 seconds. Give me a couple more solid push-ups. Come on. Push that floor away. You got it. It's Thursday morning. Three, two, and rest. Come on up, give me a couple of these. Stretch the arms out. We've got one more set of push-ups before we go to a core and arm move. So ready? Here we go, we're in it, we're in it. Timer's moving. <sighs> Breathe, push, you got this. Every rep counts, just like I always say, every rep counts, every rep gets you closer to your goals. You guys have been keeping your workouts going steady through this whole quarantine, quarantine time. That's amazing. It's not easy to push play every day in your living room. You're almost there. Come on, give me a couple more push-ups. Last 10 seconds. If you're getting tired, just take it to a regular push-up. Right here, just don't stop, don't quit on me. Ooh, we're almost there, three. Two, and rest. All right, check those push-ups off the list. We are going into that boat pose with drawbridge arms. If you've got light weights, grab them. Get set up. 
We're going into the goat pose. So your heels are up, your arms are up. Once you get steady there, you're gonna lift some weights up, just like a drawbridge. It's a short move. They're going up, and then they're coming horizontal. Up, and they're coming horizontal. And I'm keeping my heels up. If you can't do that, or if you're having a little trouble with your balance today, tap those heels down. You're still holding that core nice and tight. You're still really working those arms. Take them horizontal, take them straight back up. If you can, maybe lift them up for a couple sets. Find your balance. Lots of things are, are moving and working right here. Stay with it, keep those drawbridge arms. Three, two, and rest. Whew. All right, we've got one more set of the boat pose. And then our last move. We're trucking right through. Get set up for your next second. That boat pose, lean back, engage the core. Grab those weights. And when you're ready, see if you can lift those heels up. Right here, nice and slow. Up towards the ceiling and down. If you want your heels down, tap them down for stability, but still lean back into it so that those abs are firing too. We're getting a little extra. That work that your, your core is doing is taking your focus off that burn in your arms. You've got 15 seconds. Keep working through it. Hold that full pose if you can. Yes, looks great. Nice form, Tracy. You're almost there. You got three, two, and rest. Done with that. All right, last move here. We've got two sets of the plank to upright row. If you have sliders, grab them. If you have like weights, grab them. All right, here we go. You're gonna come down, step the feet out or slide them out with the sliders. Slide them back in. You're gonna stand up and give me a row. Really slow it down and get the feel for the movement. Step or jump the feet if you don't have the sliders. Press it back. If it's too much for your knees, then just give me that upright row standing in place. Just give me this. Here, Wendy. Come on. Keep pushing. Squeeze those arms at the top. We've got five seconds here. Three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Uh, all right, let me find you guys. We've got last set. It says mute. Oh, it doesn't say unmute. Oh, something's up with my with my zoom again. Here we go. Last set. Everything you got right here. Legs go out. Hit that plank. Come up and row. I don't know if I snuck it on you guys or not, but this is kind of a variation of a burpee. Push them out. Pull them in. Raise them right up to your chest level, not too high. Powering through this last set. You guys should feel great. We've got crazy skaters for our burnout today. Come on, squeeze it at the top. Every time you come up, we got this. We're almost there. Home stretch. Three, two, and rest. All right, drop those weights. Woo! That's it, awesome. All right, stand up, get moving. We're gonna go right into our burnout today. Burnout is crazy skaters. This is what it looks like. You're gonna give me three skaters side to side. One, two, three, then you're gonna go forward and back. One, two, three, forward and back. Modification, right. please. <laughs> oh, modification? Please. Uh, you're gonna give me plank up down. Sorry, girl. Plank up down if your knee okay. is pulling you. Okay. You got it. Ready? Set. Here we go. One, two, three, front and back. One, two, three. You can move at your own pace. I know I'm testing your coordination all the time. You got this. Count them out. Three from side to side. Then you're gonna hop it forward. If your knee's troubling you, something's not feeling right, you're gonna give me plank up downs. Lead with that right arm, and then lead with that left arm. 
Come on, don't stop. You got a little bit of time here. Move really low from side to side. Use your space. Stay with it. Perfect this move. Get down lower if you need more. Step it out if you need less. We're almost there. Come on, use those arms for momentum. Make sure you're alternating the arm that you push up with. Wendy. We've got 10. Come on. Don't quit now. You guys look great. In three, two, and one. Woo. Shake it out, grab some water. We're gonna start our stretch from the standing position. I need some water, I got cotton now. Paul's got a work call, he's gonna escape. All right guys, let's do a deep breath together. Deep breath, come down. Reach up towards the sky. Exhale it out. One more, I gotta get my heart rate down. Inhale, reach. Exhale it all out. Whew. Let's intertwine those fingers. Flip it. Press forward. Stretch it out. Really push. Kind of slight. There you go. All right, let's take it straight up. Push up towards the sky. You can poke your head through your arms. Breathe. And release. Clasp the hands behind your back, pull down, open up the chest. Take that gaze up towards the ceiling. Three, two, one, release. All right, shoulder stretch, arm across the chest. Arms did so much work today. If they're not burning now, you're probably gonna feel it later. Hold it right here, try to drop that shoulder out of your ear, relax. And switch sides. Pushing it back towards you. Feels good. Release. Tricep stretched. Gently pressing that elbow down. Reach those fingertips in between the shoulder blades. And switch. Calm that breathing down. And release. Let's get a nice wide stance. We're gonna fold it forward. Fold it forward. Keep those toes pointing towards the front. Legs are nice and straight. Just let your fingertips dangle down and touch the floor. If you wanna even walk them back behind the heels, you can pull yourself in a little deeper. Oh, this is really feeling great on the back of my legs. Let's step it together. Right over left. My hamstrings are really tight. Reach down, keeping that back leg, back leg straight. Three, two, one, let's switch. Left over right. Roll it on down and reach and reach. All right, let's roll it back up to standing. We're gonna do a side stretch. Reach it out over to the left side. Don't let those hips jut out too much. We really want to bend at the waist. Reach up, get a little bit taller and longer. You can look up towards the elbow. Back through center. Let's go to the other side. Reach. My right arm is just reaching down my leg. My left hand is going up and over. <sighs> And now I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> All right, guys, you guys did amazing. It's Thursday. We're getting ready to get back into the studio. I want to grab a quick picture. Everybody get in and smile. You did great work, and you should be proud of that. Hopefully, you can take advantage of the nice weather and get out for a walk or a bike ride. Let's see if I can unmute you guys. 
Um, I just unmuted you. myself, Amber. Okay, if you guys can unmute yourselves for some reason. My Zoom has not been giving me the option to unmute all. I don't know if that's me or what. All right, get your hands in. Please see all those sweaty faces. We're gonna do family on three. One, two, three. Family. family. All right. Hi, Wendy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Thanks Bye. So much,